What it do, YouTube? It's your boy Melee All Day coming back at you with a quick little video. Photo with some talking. You know, let me start it off by saying this. I feel bad for Brittany Griner as far as the nine years. But let's talk about this. Number one, she was wrong. Her standing there holding that picture of her basketball team, that's why she did what she did. Because in her mind, she thought she was bigger than what she really is. She's just a woman playing basketball. The WNBA operates at a loss. The WNBA doesn't make money. All the salaries combined in the WNBA amount to $13 million. That's every last player. LeBron makes $40 million, $47 million, something crazy. Now, Brittany was wrong for doing what she did. And she got caught. And then I'm probably thinking somewhere in her mind she thought if she got caught, uh, you know, a little slap on the wrist. I am over here balling in Russia. I got love for Russia. They ain't going to do me like that. But she forgot. Russia's at war with the Ukraine, and we are funding the war. Apple's pulled out of there. McDonald's is pulled out of Russia. They got sanctions on them. They're trying to cripple Russia's economy. So there's no friends, man. There's no friends in this. What she was thinking while doing that, whatever she was thinking, she wasn't thinking clearly, and she was thinking wrong. Then... I saw my man, Boosie, Boosie Badass. Boosie Badass. No, nah, man. No. Nah. That's wrong. He said Kamala Harris as a black woman should have stood up and the United States should have did something right now. What you want him to do? Drop a bomb? That's Russia. There's nothing they can do but negotiate, Boosie. There's nothing Kamala Harris can do. It would be one thing if she was framed. She did it. That's the Russian laws. Before Brittany got sentenced, news broke. She probably going to get 10 years. She looking at 10 years. She got nine. So obviously for this type of crime, that's the punishment that they dole out over there. They didn't do that to her just because she's American. Secondly, come on, Boosie, you snapping out about Kamala Harris as a black woman not being on the front lines and not getting that black woman home. There's a white dude over there for nothing. Basically, he did a little something and he's jammed up. Remember the guy North Korea had? When they brought him home, he ended up dying like a week or two later. They only let him go because they messed him up so bad that he died. And all he did was uh, take a magic marker and write on a poster or something or stole a poster. He come home dead. United States couldn't do nothing. Look at Hurricane Katrina. Hundreds of thousands of people stuck. They was dropping water down at the, at the Superdome five days later. What did Bush do? He flew over. People was waving, hey, save me. He flew over. When crisis comes, man, this is all a sham. When crisis comes, man, you got to depend on yourself. And there's nothing the government could do for Brittany Griner short of prisoner swap. And that's what they talking about doing to get her home. She's been there, what, six, seven months now? Like, folks got to realize, man, when you go to a different country, the last thing you want to do is involve a drug in something. Because their versions of punishment are not like ours. We cry about everything over here. This is the greatest government in the world as far as rights, freedoms, and, and what you can get to do. We are slaves, but in a different way. So... 
There's nothing the United States can do, man. And my man Boosie snapping out like that, man. That's to he's he's wrong this time, man. She did it. The crime, the time that she got is what they be handing out over there. If she was Russian, she might have got done dirtier. So to snap out and say the government ain't doing nothing, there's what do you want them to do? Drop a nuclear bomb? That's Russia, man. They went to war with Ukraine. They, they killing people. They doing their thing. Ain't nobody went over there and snatched Putin for a war crime, killing civilians. They only got Hitler because they was at war and they finally made it to Berlin where he was supposed to be at. And we don't even know if they got him because they said he killed himself and burned the body. So we don't know if he escaped or not. But before they got there, he took his time and killed six million people, probably more. Brittany Griner put herself in that situation. She been playing basketball over Russia for years. Why she ain't just throw that in the garbage? What was she going to do, smoke on the plane? Or she want to smoke soon as she landed? We got to look at that. Accountability, man. Accountability and responsibility, man. I live by everything that happens to me that I don't like, it's my fault. Even if the fault that I played was just saying hi, I got to say, you know, that's my fault. I shouldn't have said hi. Because when I find the fault in the bad, the fault that I play in the bad things that happen to me, then I don't repeat them and then that bad thing can't happen to me again. I said all that to say, if she didn't take that weed pen in there, she'd be home with her wife. Which brings me to this equal rights stuff. How can a woman decide, I'm going to get an abortion, and that's not murder. But if I crash my car into that same woman, and she doesn't die, but her baby dies, it's murder. So because she don't want to have, is that, a, is, that a, is that murder when I crash into her? But it's not murder when she kills it? Second thing, a woman has a baby and decides, I don't want nothing to do with this child. I'm white, I had it to a black man, and I don't want to raise it. My family going to disown me. I'm going to give it up for adoption. That woman don't have to pay child support for the rest of her life until that child becomes 18. She can just walk away totally, 100% free. A man can't do that. A man can't say, I don't want nothing to do with that child. I was tricking. She ain't no good. I don't want nothing to do with that baby. I got wife and real kids and family at home. I don't want nothing to do with that. Nope. He's going to have to pay child support. But you got women out here crying for equal rights. Man, y'all got more rights. If, if somebody break into a, a house and there's a husband and wife in there, the wife don't jump up and go fight the dude. She hides upstairs and calls 911 while the man go risk his life. So how can we be equal when we're not equal? A man is physically more stronger than a woman, so how can she be his equal? There is one universal language in this world. There is one thing in this world that everybody fears and respects, no matter what language they speak. No matter what country there's from, there's one universal language everyone respects and fears, and that's violence. And men have the capability to produce more violence than women. That's why men run the world. And for a woman to say we need to be equal, stop that. Y'all want to be equal. You want to talk to your man in the fashion of if that was another man talking to him like that, he'd have beat him up nine months ago. But because you're a woman, he can't, he can't do that. It's wrong because he's physically going to dominate you. 
nothing you could do about it. But they want to talk equal. We didn't create this world. Men cannot carry a child for nine months and give birth. No matter how much he would like to carry his own children and not have to deal with the woman, we can't do that because that's the natural order of things. This woke culture got people going against the natural order of things. And it's bleeding and seeping to every aspect of our lives. And it needs to stop. Brittany Griner did it to herself. So, yeah, I empathize with her sentence. Nine years is harsh, but it's her fault. She did it to herself and she needs to set responsibility for that. She's standing there holding that picture of her team like I miss my team and let me out because I play basketball. You not see. You're not special because you play basketball. Again, the equal rights. You're not LeBron James. You're not a male superstar who generates millions of dollars. That's why you're over Russia playing. Because you're not making no money in the United States. Because nobody wants to go watch women's basketball. Because it's not as exciting. Because the women aren't physical specimens like men. Can't jump out the gym. Can't dunk on somebody. Jumpers ain't fast. Ain't playing lockdown defense. I watched the piece of the women's NBA championship. Man, they was missing layups, throwing the ball out of bounds. It was a horrible brand of basketball, and it was the championship. You want equal rights? You want to be equal? Y'all want this is what you want? Get rid of the WNBA and go to the NBA. And if you're equal and you're good enough, then there'll be women playing in the NBA. See what I'm saying? That's equal rights. The NBA pays for the WNBA. And they do it knowing they're not going to get their money back. All for a good look for the woke culture. Man, we got to start looking deeper at some of this stuff, man. Boosie wrong for going off talking about what Kamala should be doing. No, man. See, like black folks with the snitching. Charleston White, I don't agree with him on much, but I agree with him on the fact of if me and you agree to go in on the crime, both of us keep our goddamn mouth shut. We knew what we was doing. We knew the consequences. Keep your mouth shut. It should be against the law for you to snitch your way out of trouble. If the law is a law, is a law, is a law. And they got to stand by it because it's a law. We cannot stop this. It's the law. Well, tell me where the law is that says snitching's okay and you can snitch your way out of trouble. If snitches still had to do all their time and got no deal, there'd be no snitching. So how is that legal? But that no snitching is what the criminals have talked people into to let them get away. Black people don't. We don't protect each other. We're the only race. Don't look out. We get our money and 97 percent of it is out the hood before it travels around. Jewish community, white community, Chinese community, their money travels around in their neighborhood before it leaves. They big each other up, not us. The only one we protect in the hood is the criminals. No snitching. Why? Because we scared. Because the culture means we got to be tough, hard, and anything crooked, criminal, violent, that's us. That's what we wear. They call it drill culture. They don't call it murder because it's people murdering each other. Give it a cool ass name. It's lit. It's a drill. No, it's murder. If you know somebody that killed seven people. Why are you letting him stay on the streets? He needs to be told on. You ain't going to understand that till he kills somebody in your family that you love. Then you want him dead. Then you want to go kill him. No, no snitching. This is part one. I don't want this video to be too long. Part two coming good. Coming soon. Brittany Griner. No, nah. no sympathy. You earned it. It's melee all day. And I'm down.